close these businesses vinyl. Yeah. Um, in terms of how we feel about it, we, we still believe in what it is. Yeah. Um, we obviously put a lot of our releases out still on vinyl. With Spectral, it's all about the vinyl. And uh, for us, it's actually gotten slightly stronger. I mean, it's not, the numbers aren't huge for, for techno. Obviously, it's a niche thing. Right. But, um, it's, it's higher than it has been in the past, so I mean, we're feeling okay about we're, we're feeling good about vinyl at this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has a lot to do with who you're working with too. Mm -hmm. the, pe the people you're working with understand like that it's a very niche thing and that you have to be uh, careful and cautious about how much you press up. Yeah, you know, you don't want to be overzealous in terms of numbers. You're, you know, you'd rather repress than have a, have too much vinyl sitting on your shelf. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, is it one of those things where it's getting more expensive to produce, or is the, are the prices for making vinyl kind of the same these days? Yeah, it's getting, it's 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 it's, it's not, maybe not necessarily the the cost of the of the goods, mm -hmm. but the shipping, okay. the price to ship it because of gas prices, and right? Uh, that's right. Um, I mean, and obviously vinyl's made with, with that as well, so right. that probably goes up a little bit as well. But in terms of the jackets and. The printing. Yeah. I don't think the prices have gone too much, but you have all these other elements, these other tangibles, due to the economic state of you know, sure the world. <laughs> Is it still like go sees and like if, if money was no object and like all things considered, is vinyl like the ideal format for what you guys wish you could put out, as opposed to CDs or digital like download-only releases? I think techno. Yeah. For sure. I mean, I think that if, if in an ideal world where you didn't have Serato or Final Scratch and you didn't have custom issues with, with DJs having trouble yeah. going over from different countries or vice versa, sure. coming here, um, that vinyl would probably still would I be the the way that we would prefer to be. Yeah. But we don't want. We we like to think a little bit. We're open to the idea of digital because. I think in the past we've always wondered if we have hit everybody that we can in the physical realm, sure. whether it's stores you know, or with the distributor that you're working with. But with digital, it feels like you can give that access to everybody yeah. and not leave anybody out. Yeah. But right now you're in a state where digital versus physical sales are not balanced. Mm -hmm. um, so you, right now it's a very volatile, volatile environment. So you have a lot of people scrambling, you have a lot of people fearful, mm -hmm. um, not knowing what the next step is going to be for, for their company. Right. And, you know, and for us as, as well, I mean, we, we have to always be thinking about what, what the future is going to be. And I think we've done a pretty good job of that in terms of um, combining the physical and digital world yeah. and accepting it as two viable ways of keeping the doors open. Sure. As far as digital download distribution, I've seen your guys' stuff on eMusic, um, iTunes as well, I believe. Um, is it in a label's best interest, or just in yours in particular, because I realize a major label would be a different scenario, like an independent label, kind of a niche audience. Um, is it one of those things where you're more likely to just go with as many different music download distributors as possible, or is, it, is there a benefit of picking one that's kind of more in line with how you want to be represented or how you, your audience? Well, we don't, I don't think we, we want to be just one place, mm. in the sense that it sounds like a monopoly to me, which kind of sounds like a corporate thing to me. Yeah. Um, and then I think somewhere like eMusic has a has a certain place for what we do, and I think it's good for back catalog um, sales. Sure. Um, and then something like iTunes is like obviously that's where most of the market is. So having that coverage there, mm. being on the front pages. Of the electronic section, and the dance section, or even alternative, is is crucial. Um, and then with Beatport, it's more the the DJ right. culture because they offer the different formats. So that's more of a spectral, yeah, more spectral side. Yeah, dancier. Yeah.